One of the most important things about zeroing your thermal scope is using the right target. So we can't use regular targets because we're only looking at heat. What we have here today are targets from IR Tools and Thermbrite, and these operate on the function of a very reflective silver surface versus a black surface, and they're gonna emit heat differently, and we're gonna be able to see that in a thermal scope. So some things to keep in mind, if you don't have these targets, you can use a hand warmer, you can use HVAC tape, or even take and, and take a cigarette lighter and heat up a brass case if you had to. So we're out at the range, we're gonna install and zero the Thermosite PTS 536. Number one thing to remember, you've got adjustable mounts, okay? So you've got quarter and eighth turn increments, and you're gonna set that so you have just enough tension. You don't want too much or too little. The number one thing we see is people fighting to get these things on or having them too loose and it's causing issues down the road. So once your tension is correct, you want to install onto the rifle, slide forward, and loosely tighten. And you want to check your eye relief. Okay, eye relief's good. Now you want to have your initial tension about 30 to 40 degrees out from closed, and you can push that all the way home. Okay, you don't want to fight them, you don't want it to be too loose, the number one problem we have. Now these will not unlatch unless you release here. So don't worry about those coming loose. One final check. Eye relief's good, adjust diopter and focus. So now that we've got it installed, we're gonna to wanna to go into the menu and verify that we're at zero, zero or remove any previous zero settings. So, so this unit was previously zeroed at 300 yards on another rifle. So obviously we don't wanna start there in this process. So in order to do that, you're gonna hold down the center button, you're gonna go into the menu and you go down to bore sight, press center button again to select that and a little pro tip, if you hold the left and the right buttons down at the same time, it will remove that zero setting and go all the way to zero, zero. So the zeroing process with thermal is identical to the process with a regular day scope. We've got our clicks, we've got our adjustments. You shoot a three shot group and adjust accordingly. So we'll go ahead and do that now and I'll talk a little bit about those adjustments and how they work. All right, we'll make it safe and we'll go down and take a look. So we got our first three shot group here. Uh, we were holding in the middle of this target. Looks like we're about six inches low and an inch to inch and a half right. It's important to remember that the clicks are gonna vary depending on the model of PTS unit you have. So check that manual out to make sure you're adjusting the right amount of, of clicks. Now when you make your adjustments, you wanna go to the impacts. So here we're gonna go down and we're gonna go right. And that should bring that back up into zero. And we'll go back, make those adjustments, we'll shoot again and see where we end up. So it's menu, bore sight, and then remember you always dial to the impact. So in this case, we're gonna go down about 25, and then I'm gonna go right about 10 to start. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Go down to bore sight, and we'll do a long press for gross adjustments. We're gonna start with 25. And then we're gonna do 10 clicks of windage. So you, when those are set, long press of the center button, that'll drive you all the way out and back to shooting mode. So now that we've made our adjustments, let's go ahead and shoot another three shot group. Make sure we got them as far as we wanted to go and we're dead on, and then we'll walk down and take a look. So you can see, we've got a decent group here in the middle. So this particular unit, that was 25 clicks. Each model has a different amount per click. So if you have a 233 or a 736, your total numbers are gonna be drastically different for a six inch adjustment. Give us a call with any questions or go to FLIR.com for more information.